What's up? Hey guys. I'm Bang. I'm D Cell. We're uh, going to be bringing you uh, the 2008 mock draft for the first round. Going to be doing the first 10 picks for you. We'll probably be splitting up into three videos, getting it at you soon. Look forward to them after this video. And uh, we're going to start right now. Pick number one Miami Dolphins. I don't know. I'm feeling um, they got the big tune of Parcells in there now, so. Yeah, I think they got to improve that defense. They were one in fifteen last year. Um, who do you think would be the smart pick? I mean, there's a couple of defenders that could be number one. They could go Jake Long. They could go Glenn Dorsey. But out of those two, I said Jake Long, didn't I? I meant Chris Long. They'll probably go Dorsey. He's a better prospect, I think. Probably. Yeah, I think I definitely agree with that. He seems like a real monster. It seems like, I mean, he led LSU in the national championship last year, so. I just think he'd be a good fit for a defensive tackle and help him out. He probably will be. If Parcells gives him pointers, he knows a lot, so he could help him a lot, too. And uh, we're going to move on to pick number two, St. Louis Rams. Bangle, who you got going? Uh, I mean, there's a couple <laughs> options here, obviously. Depends on who goes first, but, I mean, you got both the longs, Jake and Chris. I mean, Jake going to be a pick because um, one of the pieces is getting old, can't seem to stay healthy. But I think they, think they got a good enough quarterback in Bolger that... It shouldn't matter. They could go another year without it. And I think they need defense more than they need offense. I don't know. But Chris Long, I think, has got to be the Got to agree. I mean, having Long's son went to Virginia. He uh, did pretty good down there. And I just think that he'd really help them out. Yeah, I think they don't They don't really need offense right now. The offense isn't the problem for them. Just, the, just got to keep them healthy and get that defense to knock down the points per game, and they'll be good. Yeah. Should be defensive end, help him out, and I think that's a good pick right there. Me too. We're on to pick number three, my Atlanta Falcons. And a lot of people are saying Matt Ryan is probably going to come here. We need a quarterback. Chris Redman, Harrington, and Leftwich won't cut it. But I don't want them if we get the third overall. Not even get the fourth or fifth, I don't want them. I'm going to save Darren McFadden. I think it's a good pick. You're right with Ryan. I think that's too high. Say if they did trade down a couple spots, you never know what could happen. That could but, happen. But I don't think he's going to go there like many people say. Yeah, I think we found be a smart pick. They also may look at Jake Long because that line, because Wayne Ganey's getting old and his backup is it Foster. He didn't do too well. Um, so I just think they need to they use some uh, talent there. But I think McFadden. He's too good to pass. He's, yeah, he's probably the best prospect in the draft. Nice. And um, I just think that he really, him and Nor would be a great combination. And then with Dunn getting older, I think he'd just help him out a lot next year. Yep. Number four, Oakland Raiders. Bengal? This pick, I think, is a new brainer for Oakland. Warren Sapp said he's going to retire at the end of the year. Has been real productive anyway, so it's a smart move there. And then I think I had to go with Cedric Ellis here from USC. He had an incredible senior bowl. Just was in wherever quarterback was in there. Woodson was in there a lot. He got in his face a lot. I think he really up the stock and proved that he could be a top five pick. I just think it'd be a great fit there. You know, so. Yeah, I think he'll fill in for Sapp very well. You know, make that defensive line a little bit better too. Then again, losing Warren Sapp is he's a veteran and he's got all the knowledge, but I think that he could he's really gonna step up for him on the defense. Pick number five, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, and no. me? Yeah. You can take it. Okay. Well, Jake Long's falling since Atlanta passed on him and Oakland passed on him. And I don't think that they're going to pass on him. Chiefs, they need help on the line. They lost Willie Rowe. They lost a couple other guys. And they, they could really use him to help get that quarterback some time in the pocket. Whether it's Bertie Croy or Hewitt or if they pick somebody up, you never know. But, yeah, I mean, Jake Long definitely helped protect that quarterback. And he's just... I mean, coming out of Michigan, he used to look like a solid player, and he could be their future of the line for years to come. So I think that'd be a smart pick. Pick number six, the New York Jets. Who do you think they're gonna get here? Um, I don't know. You, you could go a couple ways. I mean, you could think about defense. I think that's the way they're gonna go. I'd say I think Vernon Goldstein from Ohio State. He is gonna be. He looks like uh, I saw one of the games that uh, he even outperformed Long and could get the or the quarterback was for the other team for uh, Michigan, but any. But um, he still looks like a very solid prospect, and I would think that uh, that would definitely help him out. I'm going to agree with you right there. 
We move on to pick number seven, the Rich Gear Richer, the New England Patriots get this pick from the 49ers. Who do you think they're going to go? Yeah, if you have the Joe Staley trade last year, get this pick. I think they got your defense. I mean, Asante Samuel just just seems to um, really want to go. He want a new contract. Uh, I just think that uh, since he's going, they would definitely need a good defense. I think a corner. Mike Jenkins for South Florida would be a good pick. That would be a good pick, but like I, I'm gonna agree with you. But they don't really need help anywhere. Like they're pretty set all over. Yeah, they're I mean, about to go 19 and 0 in a couple in a week at the Super Bowl. Yeah, they I mean, win. You know, they cheat and they just still get number one. So I don't know how they do it. But let's move on to the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. Um, they need help a quarterback. Definitely, McNair's need to turn the ball over a lot. Or I don't think it's the answer. Troy Smith, they gotta wait and see. So maybe they won't go quarterback. But I think they're gonna go quarterback as of right now because I don't know if Troy Smith proved enough. They're gonna go with the best quarterback in the draft, Matt Ryan. Yeah, definitely. Guy that since Atlanta passed on him, no one else seems to need a quarterback. I think he'd be a good fit there from Boston College. He just seems like he has all the tools and just looks like a solid prospect. Yeah, that's don't even disagree with you on that one. Nick pick number nine, we got the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, there you go. Yeah, they got a good defense. I mean, offense, Pushman side, Ojo Sinka, Reed Johnson, Palmer, Palmer. Yeah, Palmer, great quarterback. They don't need any help there. So I think they got a good defense because their defense is usually pretty bad. Um, I have to say Kenny Phillips since he's still on the board there. People say he might go higher, maybe a little higher, but he's still on the board, so I think they got to take him. Do Williams getting older. They need some help. That sec- they didn't help in that secondary. They got burned all last year. Yeah. year before that, too. So, yeah, I think he'll help help that secondary. Just step under control, keep the points down. They had Leon Hall last year and Jews up the year before, so that definitely helps them. Then on the final pick of the day, pick number 10, New Orleans Saints. Um, they could go, since we have Claddy Fallen, that, that would be a good pick, but they don't really need help on the line. Breeze wasn't sacked that much. And, he definitely doesn't need that that much help because he's already got it. Um, he has to think defense. Me too. I have to say Dan Connor from Penn State, outside linebacker. I just don't think their linebackers are that good. I think that would be pretty sick with him and uh, Scott Vegeta in there. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, they have Mark Semino. He's yeah, a old though, former so. Eagle really doesn't seem to be that yeah. good, so and I don't think he'll be here in there. So I think them two will be... Good. They'd stop the run and they'd be really good back there. Uh, he'll be trouble for your Falcons. Yeah, I uh, hope he's... not. But uh, hope Dmac can uh, run through them once we get them. Run through their D. But I think Connor be a smart pick for Penn State. I think he's got to be the man there. That's right. All right. That's right. gonna round out the top ten for today. We'll be we'll back be... with eleven to twenty. See you. Later.